Okay. So I've asked a question of uh, how is it that spiritual teachers often increase in calibration uh, just before death? And I would just sort of, I think, um, uh, you know, coming towards uh, death or and the physical death of the body is a great time for um, spiritually, um, uh, for spiritually uh, just making some more, um, some more uh, transformations and letting go of identification with the physical world. For uh, an advanced spiritual teacher, they would be very subtle uh, uh, transformations of letting uh, of letting go. So I think, you know, the the death uh, as one approaches death, I think that was um, eloquently described by the story of Ramana Maharishi, who just wanted used the uh, the physical the the dying of the physical body as a way to observe that and to catapult himself into a very high level of consciousness. Uh, also, Hawkins did talk about one of the te uh, sp his spiritual teachers. Um, I think it was calibrating around the 700s. I forgot his name, it was very Chinese, something like Wu. I forgot what, what it was, but anyway. Um, but uh, he did, he, he wrote a, a non-dual book, uh, which was calibrating the 700s. And then after writing the book, when calibrating him, he did increase quite dramatically before his death. So I think that does happen. I suppose um, spiritual realization, I think one of the things is that sometimes at certain levels of consciousness, spiritual teachers are quite eloquent and are quite good at communicating and teaching their spiritual truths. But often when uh, some of them make uh, spiritual realizations, they stop teaching or are not so, um, are not so uh, called to you know interacting with the with the world as they're making um, higher realizations and they may be going into places where it's more difficult to speak and communicate with the world so they their teachings stop even though they've gone to more advanced states there there is no longer uh, that call to be uh, in the teaching function in these very high levels of vibration for some of them I think with people like uh, Hawkins and Jesus, there's a prior uh, karmic contract to remain a teacher. I think some of them that go into these very high levels of consciousness where that karmic contract isn't there, you know, they go more into these in uh, very sublime bliss states or leave the body and are not really um, called to the teaching function. So I would guess with many of the famous teachers, you know, they have a stage where they are very, uh, you know, very much in the world teaching and being a, a channel for those teachings. But later on, as they make more advanced realizations, they may leave the teaching function. So if you were to do uh, uh, calibration and research, you find that, oh, they wrote this book and they were in the world doing teaching and they were calibrating uh, 600 or 560. And then just before death, uh, you know, they may calibrate seven, eight, nine hundred. Okay, so I'm going to.